Welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing PeeWeeGo, which is a photo management software. And so we actually had the PeeWeeGo uh, challenge where not admin actually uh, figured out how to do it. I was just missing a very small step. And that's why we do things as a community, because one person can't figure it out somebody else can and so if you like this video today make sure you like and if you haven't already subscribe and here we go now and to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible thank you and if you're not a supporter, make sure you check out my Patreon page to find out how you can support this channel too. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing we want to do is click on Docker. And that's over here to the left. Once we've done that, we're going to go over here to the right hand side and type in Maria Database into this box. And we're going to scroll down to the Linux server one. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to click information to bring up the Docker information. And if we scroll down, uh, most of the information that we need is here. We're not going to actually use all of this information though. And if we go back, we're going to click start. Once that's done, click close. And we're going to go back over to that right hand box. Now we're going to type in PeeWeeGo. And we're going to click on the Linux server PeeWeeGo. Then we're going to pick information to bring up that. We scroll down and we're going to need the information right here in this box. Next we'll go back and we'll click start. Once that's done click close. And next we're going to click on Maria database and click run image. So we're going to call this container PeeWeeGo database. Restart policy is always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. We're going to host port will be 3306. Hit the plus sign. Now we're going to scroll down and under environmental variables, we're going to type in PUID. And for this container, we need to put 99 and then PGID, and that will be 100. Next, we're gonna put in our time zone. For me, that's America, New York, and then hit the plus, line, plus sign. Now, if we go over to the Docker information, we need to put in a MySQL root password and a database password. So we'll copy that and we'll paste that right there and our password for our database is going to be PeeWeeGo. Then hit the plus sign. Next we're going to go to container path, hit slash, hit config and so now we need to make some containers for our two dockers. And so if we Go to our shared folders, click on app data. The first folder we're going to create is a PeeWeeGo database folder. Next we're just going to create a PeeWeeGo folder for PeeWeeGo. And if you don't already, make sure you have a folders folder underneath your media folder. And we can close that. So now we'll go to host path. Shared folders, go to our app data, and so we're going to pick our PeeWeeGo database folder, click OK, hit the plus sign, then we're going to click save, and now you can see here our Maria database folder started, and it's going to be on port 3306, so that's how we're going to connect it to PeeWeeGo. Next what we're going to do is go to shell in the box. Click web client, log in as root, and your password, 
So the first thing we're going to do is log into our Docker uh, container database, our PWIGO database. And so we're going to type in docker container exec dash it PWIGO database slash bash and hit enter. And with these numbers here, that means we're in our database. Next, we're going to type in mysql space dash u space root space dash p and that will log us in as root into our docker container and our password was pwego then hit enter and so now we're in our maria database container so next we're going to type in create user pwego identified by pwego and we have to make sure we have our quotes in there and a semicolon at the end the second pwego is the password for the database then hit enter and it says query OK, zero rows affected, so that means it ran OK. Next, we're going to create a database. So we'll create database if not exists, and the bad database name will be pwego. And again, we have to put the semicolon in there and then hit enter. And again, that's OK. Next, we're going to type in grant all privileges on pwego. That's our database to our pwego user identified by password pwego. And then, as always, remember that semicolon and then hit enter. And again, you have to type in everything correctly, otherwise, it will not work. So I typed in privileges wrong. So next, we want to type in grant all privileges on pwego, which is our database to pwego, our user identified by the password pwego followed by a semicolon and then hit enter and that was okay so next what we're gonna do is type quit and then exit and we can close that window next we're gonna type on pwego and we're gonna click run image and the container name is going to be pwego Restart policy is always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. We're going to type 443 is going to be 446 for us. And that is if you have HTTPS. And then we're going to do 80 is going to be 8080. Then hit the plus sign. We're going to scroll down and under environmental variables, we're going to type in our PUID, which is 99 and our PGID, which is 100, hit the plus sign. Next, we'll type in time zone. Type in America, New York, if that's your t uh, time zone, hit the plus sign. Now we're gonna go down to container path. We're gonna hit a slash and then config. And then under host path, we're gonna go down to shared folders and then go to our app data folder and then pwego and then hit OK, and then hit the plus sign. We're going to hit slash again, go to pictures, go to our shared folders, and then our media folder, and then click on our photos folder, and then click OK, and then hit the plus sign. And then that is it for this container right now. So our login, uh, where, which port we're gonna go to is 8080. So we just have to remember that, hit save. Next, we'll copy our IP address, paste that in a window, backspace colon 8080, and then hit enter. And that brings us to the PWIGO configuration. And so now what we're gonna do is go down to English US for local hosts. We're going to Type in our IP address, and then we're going to hit colon 3306. For our user, it's going to be pwego. Password for our database is pwego. Our database name is pwego. Then we're going to type in a user. We'll put in admin. Type in a password. Type in your email address, and if you want to get the PWIGO announcements newsletter, just leave that checked, otherwise uncheck that. And then click Start Installation. And then now we're into PWIGO, and just click Visit Gallery, and start the tour. And so basically, I would suggest going through this. 
This will give you a general information about how to use PWIGO. We're going to skip it right now though. We'll skip it end tour. And then it will give you, take you to this page where you can see how to add different things. We're just going to add a photo so you can see how to do that. Click photos, add photos. And so first thing you need to do is create an album. So we're going to click on that. And so our album name is going to be TDL. Then click create. And now you can add photos. So let's click add photo. That one looks like a good one. We're going to open that and then go down to the bottom here and click start upload. And there our photo is uploaded. So if we look quickly at the sidebar, we can add photos, ratings, tags, look at recent photos, go by album, uh, by user, and we can add plugins and there's different tools that we can do. And then finally, there's configuration. Most of those things you'll never have to be used, really use. Uh, the plugins, there are some interesting ones, but you should pick out the ones you like. And that's it for today. So you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.